Hello everybody, my name is Deadfly. Today I'm back with another video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a push dagger. For those of you who don't know what a push dagger is, it's like a little thing that you hold in your hands, like, you know, so that it's coming out the front. It's similar to the bear claw thing that I made, um, but hopefully it'll be better because it'll just be a solid piece of steel. First step is to draw out your design. Basically what I did was I drew one half of it onto a piece of paper and just drew a line down the middle and I folded the piece of paper in half and then I cut it out. And it's pretty easy to do. You might want to do the blade thinner than I did. Next step after that is to uh, trace it onto the steel. So uh, I did it there. And then after that it's time to just cut out the shape. So I'll show you when I've done that. Okay, so I got the basic shape cut out and all the holes drilled. One there, one there. And three there. I would have drilled these holes, but I didn't have a drill bit big enough, and frankly, after drilling five holes through this, I really didn't feel like drilling more. Basically, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refine the shape so that it's more comfortable in my hand, because right now you can see it's quite wide. I need to make that thinner. Um, it's kind of hard to get off. I'm going to make the edges nice without like all these scratches on it. I'll make it so that it goes perfectly to the lines down here, it doesn't go all the way to the lines. And then I'll probably make the blade thinner too, because it's pretty wide right now. Yeah. So I'll show you once I've done that. Okay, so I've done quite a bit on it. As you can see, these are no longer little divots. I've taken quite a bit off the blade so that it's thinner and I think it looks nicer. I've made the these more even, the, the finger kind of bits. It's still kind of wide. It fits nicely like that, which is it's not where I intended for to hold it, but I guess you can hold it there. It's kind of the same thing. Anyway, now what I'm going to be working on is the bevels. So I've shown how to do it in pretty much all of my other knife videos. So what you're going to want to do is get a sharpie, and then you color in like the whole side, like all the way down and stuff, but like, you know, fully. And on the other side too, and then you take a drill bit of the same thickness. So for me, that is this one, 5.5. And then you lay this flat on a thing, like that. You put the drill bit there, and you drag it along the surface so that the tip of the drill bit scratches into the metal and you can see it because you colored it in with the sharpie so I'll show you when I've done that and yeah okay so as you can see I've done that um, I've done it on both sides now what I'm gonna do is I haven't done bevels the same in all of my videos but what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm going to be getting an eye bolt I saw this in a video and I thought it was really clever um, I'm going to be getting an eye bolt, and I'm going to be screwing it into a giant piece of wood, which I don't have here. Let's just say that this is the giant piece of wood, even though it's not. Um, it's a drill bit stuck in it. Uh, half of a drill bit, okay. So, I'm going to be putting the eye bolt in here, and it'll be sitting up like that. And then I'll be getting a file like this one, and putting, attaching a, somehow, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but probably like hose clamps or something, a really long nail to it, and I'll have the wood here, so that's the wood with the eye bolt in it, and then the knife will be down here, and this, I'll put the giant nail through the eye bolt, and I'll clamp this down to my vise or something, and then it will go on the same angle the whole time. If that didn't make sense, you'll see it. I'll do a time lapse of it. Basically, just do what I do if you didn't understand. It. Just... So here is the jig thing. So this is a file that has been duct taped to a like a rod of metal through this eye bolt here, and this will let the bevel on the blade be completely even all the way down to the plunge line, I think that's cool. So basically, I've just clamped two pieces of wood to each other in my vise, and then I clamped this on here, 
This has to be slightly higher so that it can go on an angle. I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah, so that this, the file, can uh, go on an angle. So I'll do a time lapse of it to just show you exactly how it works and yeah. Okay, so I've done one bevel on each side, so that and that, and they're actually really nice, like they they go all the way down the line. They look much better if you do them with the file rather than the angle grinder. The angle grinder takes much less time and it's much easier, but I would suggest doing it with a file, so that's good news for anyone who doesn't have an angle grinder and wants to do this. So. Next step is just doing the bevels on the other side, and then I will probably take all the rust off. So, see you in two hours. The way I'm telling to how to stop the bevel in the middle, so exactly the same as this one, is I've drawn a line here and here, and then I know that this line stops there, so I'll stop it exactly when it reaches that point, and same on the other side. So, I've finished all four bevels on the blade finished filing them down so I've de-rigged my little thingy. Now what I'm going to be doing is sanding it so that they're not all rough on the edges and I'll be taking all the rust off of both sides. So I'll do a time lapse again just so you know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. The next step is heat treating. So I have my little forge down here. What's basically going to happen is I have a hair dryer there. It's going to blow into this pipe thing that I've just, I've basically just gotten a block of wood and a pipe and put that little support thing there. Then I've got a bunch of stuff in there. I'm going to be putting the this right here and I'm going to light that on fire. When the hair dryer blows into it, there's going to be more oxygen to the fire which will make it hotter and hopefully we can get a good heat treat on this and so what I'm looking for is you've probably seen this a million times in different videos but what I'm looking for is a nice kind of cherry red color and um, it should no longer stick to a magnet and that will mean it is ready to be plunged into oil. I'll show you some clips of while I'm doing it and then I will be back. So here's the blade after heat treating. It's pretty nice. Now I'm going to clean off all the color and scale and stuff, and then I'm going to temper it. As you can see, the blade is quite golden. I may have overcooked it just a bit, but, you know, it has worked. It is tempered now. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is going to be taking the gold off and then I'm going to be sharpening it. So now I'm just going to be doing some final sanding just to get all these marks off. So while I was sanding this, I thought that maybe I should put some like ridges on there. I'll just use the triangle file. I'll show you when I've done that. So these are what the notches look like after um, I've done them. Some are deeper than others, but I might 
go back and fix that. I think it looks pretty good. What now I'm going to do is widen these holes up. So there it is. I've finished it. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you would like to see in the next video how to make a sheath for this or how to make a folding knife. Either one, just comment down below which one you'd prefer. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.